Good morning. Welcome to Beautiful Savior. Thank you for waking up an hour earlier on this Daylight Saving Time day or opposite of Daylight Saving Time. I always forget which direction, how it all works, but glad we're here. And welcome to all of those worshiping with us online. And um, for those who are online, our friends in Arizona and Florida, it is snowing again in Michigan. So uh, we get that on top of Daylight Saving Time change. But Hey, there we are. We're here to study and learn and worship today, and we're focusing on the fourth chapter of the book of Jonah. So this week and then next week, we're continuing. uh, Next week will be Jonah as well. It'll be the things Jesus said about Jonah, how he talked about Jonah, compared himself to Jonah. He referred to a sign of Jonah. But today is the fourth chapter. The book of Jonah has four chapters, so we'll conclude the book portion. Um, and then also, you'll, on the way out, you'll receive a direct mail uh, card, an example of a card that we are um, mailing out to our neighbors. And we've got a whole stack of them right up here on the altar, and it advertises a lot of events that are happening during Holy Week, like the, uh, the Easter art workshop, uh, there's going to be a pancake breakfast, we're bringing that back. Oh, I think we've brought that back, but it's getting stronger. An Easter egg hunt. Things that we can, um, events where we can invite children and people of all ages. And it also talks about the Easter worship series. It'll be a six-week series called How Do We Know It's True? So starting on Easter Sunday for six weeks, we're going to go over all of, this, um, all of these pieces of evidence that show us this is a true story. We know it's true in our hearts, but what about when people ask us? So what I invite you to do with me right now is I'm going to say a prayer over all of these cards, and these will be symbolic of the ones going out to our neighbors to 10,000 households in the area. So let's let's say a prayer. Good and gracious God, let these cards represent the 10,000 cards and that are going to be mailed to the neighbors around beautiful Savior's building, and let them represent the cards that are going to be handed out by members here to family and to friends. We ask, Lord, that these would inspire people to come here for worship if they're seeking a church, to come here for worship if they're not seeking a church, Um, and if they have a home church where maybe they've not been for a while, we ask that it would inspire them to return to that church as well. We ask, Lord, when people see this, that they'd be drawn closer to you, and they'd be drawn closer to knowing you through this congregation. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning. I'm Nancy Geich. Louise Green and I are co-chairs for Feeding the Homeless through Lighthouse of Michigan. Several years ago, Lighthouse of Oakland County and South Oakland Shelter, SOS, combined forces and merged agencies to become Lighthouse of Michigan. They provide food, shelter, clothing, financial assistance, and crisis referrals. The goal is to help those in need to become self-sufficient. Beautiful Savior has a long history of helping the homeless through SOS, and our contribution has been much appreciated. For the past several years, families with children have been housed in the newly renovated apartment building owned by Lighthouse in Pontiac. Church congregations and Meals on Wheels provide food for their site daily. Beautiful Savior will be be providing dinner daily for 60 people during the first full week of May, beginning on Monday, May 6th. Each of the six days, we need groups of people to prepare dinners, drivers to deliver the food in bulk to their basement kitchen, and helpers to serve those meals. In the beginning of April, there will be a poster in the Welcome Center where you can sign up or you may contact Louise or me personally to let us know that you're interested. So that is the week of May 6th through 11th. You might want to circle that on your calendar. Thank you very much. You'll probably hear more from us in the future.